Hey, what's up? My name's Ryan Cook. And in this six part beginner's guide to chainsaw carving, I am going to walk you through the ins and outs of how to carve. We're gonna talk about chainsaws and we're gonna talk about safety gear and then we're going to carve our first bear. We'll be giving away a brand new 2511 WES to one lucky winner. Here's what you must do. Number one, like each video and subscribe to Echo's YouTube page. Oh. Look out for the secret letter that'll appear in every video to form a secret word at the end. Number three, on the final episode, number six, comment with the secret word. Any job should start with ensuring you're safe and comfortable. Make sure the area you're working with is clear without obstacles and away from people or animals. Let's look at some essential PPE when you're carving with a chainsaw. Safety glasses and hearing protection are a must. Your eyes absolutely have to be protected. There's a chance of stuff flying at you and obviously anything hitting your eyes is not good. Continuous use of any power equipment means extremely loud noises, so simple hearing protection will keep your ears safe. A mask. Breathing in sawdust is not the best for your lungs. Wear a mask. The long sleeve jacket that I'm wearing is ventilated, water resistant, and tough. Though long sleeve shirts are not essential to carving. But above all, make sure that you are comfortable with whatever you choose to wear. You want to be able to move and be loose. Next is chainsaw gloves. Chainsaw gloves are fantastic for vib anti vibration. The thing is, when you're using your chainsaw for an extended period of time, your hands can get numb from the vibrations of the power of the saw. I recommend that you get a great pair of Echo gloves. Those work phenomenally. The chainsaw pants is a very important part of carving. You want to always make sure you're wearing your chaps or proper PPE pants. That is going to be essential because there's something called getting bit. And if you're wearing your protective chaps, if you get bit by the, by the chain, it stops it right away and protects you from serious injury and bodily harm. And that is something to me that is so important. And finally, proper boots. Make sure you get steel toe boots to protect your feet from any wood falling, or if you're lifting up logs when you're moving your carvings, you want to make sure that your toes are protected. You want to make sure you're wearing the proper safety equipment at all times when you're carving. And most importantly, make sure you feel comfortable when you're doing so. And most importantly, stay safe and have fun. Now let's talk about my favorite part, chainsaws. These are three of my favorite chainsaws. These are the X series, best of the best Echo produces. There is the 2511 WES, there is the CS501P and the CS620. Now, I use these three saws almost all the time in every single carving I do. And in these videos, we are going to use these three saws. If you don't have these three saws, that's okay. Whatever saw you have at home, is what you're gonna use and it's how you're gonna to learn to do what you have to do. But these are my three saws that I recommend the most. This is the CS620PW. This is a 24 inch bar, 3 8 low pro chain. This is a perfect saw for blocking. And also, if you're an everyday user and you don't use a chainsaw, you use it for firewood, you use it for you know cleaning up stuff in the backyard, this is a fantastic saw. This is the pro model. If you really don't need the pro model, but you need a good saw for cutting firewood, the Timberwolf, which is this saw's little brother, is a fantastic saw. It beats out all the other competitor saws for price and performance. The Timberwolf is a great one, but for me, in carving, I use the X-Series. Moving on to the 501P. The CS501P is my everyday saw. 
I can detail with this saw, I can block with this saw, it can do it all. If you're using it for firewood, stuff in the backyard, building trails, you name it, arborists use it, all the carvers use them. This is one of my favorite saws, it's a, especially if you only have one saw. Though it's a little bit heavier, you can do it all. This is my favorite go-to saw when I'm doing quick carves, when I'm doing everything, and if I need the power, it's got it. 50 cc's, this thing sounds like it's just ready to rip, and I love it. Now, moving on to Echo's new saw, the 2511 WES. This is by far the best detail saw on the market. It is just about five pounds dry, it's light, it's powerful, and it is fantastic. Now, in these next few videos, you might see me using a new saw that has yet to hit the market. And I'm really excited. If you guys are interested in learning more about how I set up my saws with chains and sprockets from the 620 all the way down to the 2511, go to Ryan Cook Carvin on YouTube. I'm Ryan Cook, Ryan Cook Carvin is my page and I have tutorials on all kinds of things. But for these next six videos, you have to get the letters to spell the word and not every single episode will be just one letter. In this video, A is your first letter. A is your first letter of this competition. And moving forward, our next video, we are going to start the bear. We're gonna be at my shop. It's gonna be a whole different scene and we're gonna have some fun. So tune in, be sure to like this video, subscribe to Echo here on their page. My name is Ryan Cook. Thank you for watching and thank you for being a part of this show and be sure to watch A Cut Above which is out in Canada right now on Discovery Channel and will be coming out in the United States, UK, Europe and many other countries very soon. I'm the judge on the show, Echo is one of the main sponsors and it is a fantastic, fantastic show about chainsaw carving. Thanks so much guys! Yoo!